Ducks waddle lazily through the garden beds. Strawberry plants and radishes yeah, begin to sprout from underneath the soil. Here at Watercliff Permaculture Farm, it's all about growing sustainably and also building. Cob is a, it's an ancient building technique and it's, uh, it's essentially very similar to adobe, which is used in New Mexico, but instead of pre-made bricks, we, we sculpt it and we put it on with our hands. There's three essential ingredients and they are uh, sand, which we have two kinds of sand here. This is a, a more gritty sand that we've actually gotten in from Nanaimo, and this is the local Gabriela sand. So that's the sand. This is straw, which is uh, a waste product from farming. And then this is clay, which is, this is on island. This is a guy's pond that he dug out, and so we've got basically as much of this as we wish. And the trick is to slide those platelets over the sand and the straw, and then when the clay dries and shrinks, all that when it's uh, gone around all that, it pulls it all together and tightens it up into a brick. <laughs> Colin says cob building is cheap in materials, but costly in labor. If you build it yourself, it's great. You can keep your costs way down. And it's quite fun, so it's a people-friendly process, and you can invite friends and make, you can get a lot done with work parties and workshops. Paulin teaches cob building workshops here at the farm. He learned his craft by attending a workshop like one of these years ago. And it was great. It sort of changed the course of my life a bit. Doing workshops is something I'm, I'm pretty passionate about, just to pass it on and, and to, to make, make the information available. And who knows what people, some people will go home and build a little cob oven. Some people, who knows, maybe build a house. Its fire resistance and brick-like strength make it great for ovens and homes. The cob breathes, and so there's no va vapor barrier in a, in a cob house. Moisture comes through at a, at a natural rate, and so the air is, you're not, if there is any off-gassing from a, a couch or anything, it, it doesn't stay in your house. There's no vapor lock. Everything's always refreshed. When it's ready, it starts to stick together like that. It's also environmentally friendly and pretty forgiving to work with. And you, you learn as you go, and it's easy to repair and notice. And so you, every, every clay has a different strength, so there's no miracle batch. It takes a while to make a batch, but the time goes quickly with laughter and casual conversations. <laughs> you won't hear any power tools on this job site. Mixing together the cob looks and feels more like dancing than work, and even the smallest of helpers can join in the play. Nice, I'm gonna stomp on it. Ah. Paulin says you can let your creativity run wild with cob building. When it started, it was great funky cabins and, and very artistic, but quite funky, and, and now there's finished homes that you know, would make magazines, and you can do whatever you like with it. Paulin hopes more people will show an interest in the trade and find more ways of building sustainably. On Gabriola Island, I'm Moran the Plant.